Welcome back to the channel, this is Slick Prince, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about basic PLA 3D printed parts for outdoor use, and the practicality of it. The first thing I 3D printed was actually a functional 3D print for my mom's Mini Cooper. <laughs> it was uh, an antenna replacement because hers had popped off due to wear and tear over the years, but I thought this would be a nice quick and easy print and a fun replacement for her vehicle because I uh, I'll show you guys it I added a, a little bit of touch to it to the design but I knew when I first printed it PLA was probably not the best material for outdoor use because polylactic acid is made of raw materials like cornstarch and sugarcane so over time with absolutely like perfect heat and moisture it technically can break down I knew that this wouldn't be an issue for this quick antenna fix so I thought you know I'll go ahead and I'll print it and I got out of her car earlier and I was like hey maybe I should make a video on that just to let people know how it's held up I would say hindsight being 2020 and if I had access to this PETG filament, this would be a much better outdoor material to print in. It's just a lot more durable and flexible. It has better UV resistance and heat resistance. So PETG or ASA would be a better alternative to printing PLA for outdoor use. But if you're just going to do something quick and easy that's a temporary fix, PLA should be fine. I only say PLA would be fine because I have this guy, the antenna replacement that I was speaking about. I don't know how great this focus is, so let me move. So this guy with the poop emoji, I added that because she always sends that emoji in. I thought she'd get a kick out of it. You can see wear and tear on the bottom where there's screw and other metal components coming into contact with the base of it. But other than that, there's really not too horrible a visible damage. The top of the poop is a little bit darker. I thought it would be beneficial to just print a new one and compare how they look. I just threw the new antenna cover with the poop emoji <laughs> on the printer and it should be done in 11 minutes. And then we can do a little bit of a comparison with this fella. But like I was saying, I have PETG now. I'm only not printing it in that so that we can do a little bit of a color comparison. If you were to be printing functional 3D printed parts, I mean, I'm an engineer. I always like fixing things, especially in my own life, whether it be a quick little fix or something more complex. This PLA would be fine if, if it's experiencing minor outdoor use. I live in Massachusetts, so we experience the highest highs and lowest lows, but this, I mean, it's, it was raining. It, it was a rainstorm today. This has soaked up five months of that, and it doesn't, it hasn't lost much of its structural integrity, much of its strength at only 15% infill, and only slight discoloration around the base, which is expected. My real camera's memory just ran out so if the quality looks better or worse or just different that's why but I wanted to continue the video so if you're thinking of printing functional stuff for outdoor use in basic PLA you'll probably be alright unless you, you're gonna put it through the ringer but if it's just like hang in there you, you'll be okay I have a slight concern, of course, a couple minutes into this print. I just remembered this HSPLA isn't what I printed this one in. 
I had just printed this in the basic white PLA that I was just showing you guys. And I don't know if it's gonna look the same as that off the rip. So I'm gonna look at that and I'll let you guys know. And if it, if it doesn't look the same, I don't think it, this one looks a little bit more translucent. The HS, that high speed capability, I think it's a little bit more flowy. So if that looks bad, I'm just gonna print a new one and then I'll do the comparison and not fill you guys. I'll fill you guys in, I'm not gonna show you. Look at this super complex model. Over 1300 parts in an assembly. I did this for a customer, but this just finished printing. This is the high speed PLA. Of course, looks totally different. It looks way less matte than this one did off the rip, but I'm making the executive decision right now. I'm thinking about it as I'm speaking to you guys then I'm actually not going to reprint this in the basic PLA. Because what you guys are going to do right now is just imagine this is basic PLA. And that it is cleaner than this one. Because this one has been outside for five months. Like we know. Overall, 3D printed parts in basic PLA for outdoor use is a yes for me, dog. And I only say that because... This has been outside every single day for five months, experiencing rain, sun. I mean, we had frost the other day, so it looks fine. These will obviously become weaker over time and more brittle as they absorb moisture from the air and are exposed to frequent sunlight. But <clears throat> if that's a cause of concern, try a more durable material like this PETG and it should last a lot longer. I think it's polyethylene, t t something glycol, but fact check me on that in the comments. Other parameters like the purpose of the part itself, infill density, the weather where you live and the weather this part will be exposed to um, will all play a huge factor on how well it does perform and hold up. So you should take that into consideration. It's funny, this one actually looks better than this high-speed PLA one, in my opinion. But I hope this was informational or helpful, and if it wasn't, I'll go kick rocks.